Here was the selfish voice of desire. Elisha refused the gifts, but Gehazi used Elisha's name and dishonored God. He dishonored God for the sake of his physical desires. Compared to our love for God, how strong is the voice of desire in us? Suppose your choices were my comfort versus God's glory. Right? My comfort, I can pray for my comfort or God's glory. What would we pray for? Well, ideally, we'll pray for both. Right? That's what we do. Lord, I want all these things for my comfort, all my prayer requests for me, and I want you to use it for your glory. Right? That's what we pray. We want both, which is great. I'm not, it's not that God cannot do that, and many times he does. We are encouraged to pray for ourselves. God wants us to pray for ourselves. God answers prayers that we pray for ourselves. But what if we had to choose between our comfort and God's glory? You see, God may sometimes put us in a place where he wants us to choose. God wants us to know if we will choose him over ourselves. Luke chapter 9 verse 23 reads, Then he said to them all, Whoever wants to be my disciple must deny himself and take up their cross daily and follow me. Would we choose God and his glory if it meant that our prayers would not be answered. Let's test it. Right? Let's see how much we love God. To test how much we love God, what if not answer one more prayer of yours that is for yourself? How much would that change your commitment to him? If your commitment to him changes even a little bit, that means on some level we have been seeking God for our own selves. 